so if we're going to put this first one in vertex form, and we're using the negative b over 2a approach, we've got our, our general form here for our quadratic function. We identify a to be negative 2, b to be 12, and c to be negative 9. So if I evaluate what negative b over 2a is, that would be negative 12 over 2 times a, 2 times negative 2, which would be negative 12 over negative 4, or 3. So in building a vertex here, I know the x-coordinate is 3. To figure out the y-coordinate, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take 3 now, and I'm going to plug back in for these x's. If I plug back in for those x's, well, let's see what we get. We get negative 36, negative 45, plus 36, get negative 9 back, yes? Is that right? Well, that's negative 18. That's not right. It's 9. Is that right? Check me. It's late on a Friday. Need some help here. Thank you. All right, so if this is 9, how do we get 9? Okay, so to go to the vertex form, spelling out vertex form, y would equal, okay, how does vertex form look? We need an a. Now our a in the vertex form is the same as the a up here in the original general formation for the quadratic. So negative 2 goes here. Then we have a quantity of x minus whatever the x value is here at the vertex, so minus 3, quantity squared, and then we add on whatever the y value is at the vertex, 9. Why would it be minus 3? Always the opposite of what we have here, right? Just like if I have the vertex form here and I'm trying to figure out what the vertex is, I take the opposite of that value, that becomes my x coordinate. So we got the general quadratic form here. We know a is 1 half, b is negative 3, c is 4. Using negative b over 2a. Getting started here, b is negative 3. It's a negative b, so that becomes positive 3 over 2 times a, 2 times 1 half. 2 times 1 half, of course, is 1, so we got 3 over 1, or just 3. So building our vertex, again, it looks like we got an x coordinate of 3. A lot of variety in these examples. So figuring out now what y is going to be for this vertex, take 3, plug back in, got 1 half, 3 squared minus 3 times 3 plus 4. Created some down on the last one, so let's walk through this. This would be 9 halves right here, right? 9 halves minus 9 plus 4. So if I put that together, that's minus 5. 9 halves minus 5 would be 9 halves minus 10 halves, which is negative 1 half. We've got our vertex, so if we set up this vertex form, a again is what we started with as a up here. A is one half times the quantity x minus this three, our x coordinate at the vertex. All of that is a quantity squared. Please don't forget to square that. And then tack on the y coordinate, this minus one half. 